today's men 21 video i'm going to be giving you a special little man beater out of the new england patriots offensive playbook now for those of you guys that don't know my name is cody and i make madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day and i post them on my youtube channel now if you have not already clicked subscribe i highly encourage you to do that because we post four times a day one at two o'clock one at four o'clock one at six o'clock and one at eight o'clock p.m eastern time different tips different strategies um, that you can use both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball and i would also encourage you to go ahead and join my community discord that is the best way to stay the most up to date with everything going on with my community it's also the best way to participate and talk madden 24 7 um, with other like-minded madden players in the community so if you haven't joined the discord yet you could do that by clicking the link in the description of this video all right guys so i'm still working on that new england patriots offensive ebook for you and um, I have this little sample play here. This is um, a really nice little man beater out of the Y off trips pass. Now I actually broke this play down as a zone beater, but I want to show you this play and what it can do for you against man. And that is the play halfback sluggo. Now a lot of people, when they run man coverage, what they're going to do in their coaching adjustments is they're oftentimes going to um, come out, you know, maybe they're in a default alignment, but typically what they're going to do is they're going to come out and they're going to man align. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in probably the best formation if you were going to play coverage defense uh, from this, and I'm going to bring this dollar three two six, and I'm going to run cover two man linebacker blitz. And what I'm going to do with the ball here is I'm going to hit man align and press coverage, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Now, what you'll notice here is this linebacker on the outside is matched up against the running back. Now, what I want to show you really quickly is from U-Trips, what you could do is if I motion, uh, you see here, if I just run this running back on a route, I can't really motion him out to the left. I can only motion him to the right or to the left within the back side of the formation. I can't really motion him out. So this is one of the only ways that you can do this. And this specific tactic is best done um, on first down because what you want to do is you want to smart route the running backs route because you want it to go a little bit deeper. You'll notice here he's going to be able to go at about you know 10 to 15 uh, yards down the field before he cuts inside. And this is going to basically turn this route into a post or a sluggo, but it's a multi-window route. You can throw it on the snap of the ball, you can throw it when he cuts on the inside, and then obviously you can throw it um, when he does his little double move. Now, with the rest of the routes on this play, honestly, um, I kind of keep them stocked. There's really not a whole lot else that I'll do with this. The one thing you might do is take your backside tight end and put him. You know, I might do a double drag over the middle, maybe double drag the two inside receivers here, um, the tight end and the left side slot. But really, the primary route I want you to watch is LaShawn McCoy. As he motions out here, you notice that nobody follows him and the man coverage does not auto switch to him. And so you can hit this with a nice little snap throw very easily against the cover two man and basically he's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the safety now uh, i want to show you one other thing here let's say that they um let's say that they man this let's say that this play was flipped right so you're running this like this and the linebacker is on the on the left side right um, let's just say that that's something that they did okay so same route combination over the middle here just a couple little crossers you notice here on the left side he also does not um that, that linebacker on the on the outside there is not going to bounce out on the running back. It's because they man the line. Now, if they're in default alignment, right, just standard, you know, you come out and they're going to be in default alignment, you'll notice he also doesn't move. You see he's a linebacker on the outside. He's not going to move out. He's not going to bounce out to defend this running back. So it's a quick, easy snap throw, and you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage very easily. Now, what you'll notice here is I'm going to audible to cover, cover, um, cover four. Okay, so I'm just going to audible to a basic zone coverage, and I want you to watch what the defense does. What you'll notice here is the same kind of thing. There's no movement by the outside. But once you notice they're in zone coverage, you can throw this ball right when he cuts to the inside and basically turn this into a um, essentially a post route over the middle of the field. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Again, it's that simple smart route. Again, this is best ran on like a first and 10 situation. Really anything um, beyond uh, 10 yards to go is, is, is ideal for this. But what you'll see here when he cuts the inside right there, you notice that you can basically cut that route off and essentially turn this into a really nice little post route that you can use against the zone coverage. And we'll show you this one more time. But basically, right when he clears, you're going to throw this with an inside pass. So you're kind of waiting for him to kind of clear the zone coverage, right? 
there and you're kind of anticipating it, you see you could turn that into a nice little uh, a nice little um, uh, post routing in the zone. So this route really is nice for a lot of different things. Now I want to show you really quickly um, the counter to this, but before I do, I want to encourage you, if you have not already joined my text message membership, it is completely free to do that. And what my text message membership is, is it is a way that I'm able to give you guys very high level, deep and detail oriented um, tips and tricks every single week. So th typically those videos are um, over 45 minutes to an hour and a half long. We've covered the full guides to the gun bunch, Big Nickel Over G, um, the Minnesota Vikings Singleback Trio, different things like that. So if you want to get some of those higher level concepts and schemes, um, I send those out every single week. And um, we're actually working on ours for this week is going to be out of New England, obviously, with the guide coming out this week. But um, if you want to get those free uh, weekly tips and tricks, free weekly guides that I do, go ahead and just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. And just let me know that you'd like to receive those videos. All right, so the counter to this for the defense, what they're going to do is what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to base align their coverage. What you'll notice here is now this brings a slot corner um, to the left side of the field. And if you motion out your outside guy, now what's going to happen is you see the corner does come out and he does guard it. But what you'll notice here is right on this little, right on this inside cut, like let's say they're man-to-man -man coverage, right on the inside cut of the route, again, you can turn this little route because it goes so deep after you smart route it, you can turn this route into a very nice little um, essentially slant uh, post, you know, inside breaking route, you're going to low ball and pass lead inside against that man-to-man -man coverage. Now, one thing I want to show you really quickly, and this is very common for a lot of people, what they're going to do is they might, um, they might run the meta coverage, right? They might basically go through and purple their outside guys, and you're going to go through and run your little play. And what you'll notice is if that safety, if that deep side safety is in a purple zone, this is going to, because again, he's going to kind of shoot back into that zone. Just wait for this the little double move to cut up. And as soon as he's going to break, you're going to hit him right over the top. And this thing is going to absolutely torch the meta man-to-man -man coverage. Now, you do have to throw this kind of on time. And you do have to kind of anticipate what this is going to do and how this is going to work for you. And I want to show you how to do that. So, again, right when that running back cuts um, on, that, on that little double move, you're just basically anticipating... Right when he turns, right there, you're going to let the ball go. I don't know why the sheds in practice mode are so good, but for whatever reason, they really are this year. So we're going to show you that one more time. But what we're going to do is we're going to back this stuff off because I just really want you to see this specific route and what it can do. So we're just backing off the rush. And again, you know, what they're going to probably think is, all right, we got the meta coverage over there. There's no, This is a play that, you know, just kind of wrinkle in, especially if you're running U-trips or Y-trips. Um, within this but what you'll see right here is when he cuts right there he's gonna make that double cut that's shaded coverage over top and you see he's able to beat it and he's able to beat it big time um, for an absolute laser against the coverage now what if they base line and did that right what if they base line and did that because you know again this is gonna get them a little bit better alignment they're gonna be better off so we're gonna show you that really quickly Again, the shade coverage over top, um, double moves typically do a pretty good job of getting over top of that coverage. So we're going to show you this again real quick. Motion him out, and he's going to go. And what you'll see right here, right there, hard or uh, lob over the left shoulder. And as you can see, it's a rat catch, one play touchdown. So if there's a safety over the top, this is kind of my rule of thumb. If there's a safety over the top, right, if there's a safety over the top in a deep half, then you're going to throw the post. You're going to throw that route on a post at that window. If the safety is underneath, then you're going to throw that route on the other route. But you see right here, you know, if there's nobody coming out, if there's nobody out there getting the, get the back, snap, throw it. This play also does really, really good against zone. Um, again, it's a little bit more of a man-specific play, I would say, but it does do fine against zone coverage. Uh, you have your little deep dig dig route kind of that he's going to go on and what you'll notice right there click on and just cut it off that's going to be a good read for you against zone coverage you also obviously have um you, you also obviously have your routes to the other side of the field that are no slouch against 
um, against zone coverage. You've got this nice little four, you know, verticals, little inside streak to Chris Godwin. If they're giving you a window here, um, just take it, man. Hit hit that streak. Um, you can hit that against a lot of different coverage this year, especially cover two. You also have your check down. Um, you also have your check down drags that you can hit as well. And if you want to keep uh, this little curl route to the outside receiver on the right, um, it's just a little bit of a more, it's just a unique curl route. He's going to go out, um, you know, and really uh, I would say this is something that, you know, I would actually probably prefer just a regular curl. Um, but that route does do really good against a lot of different things the defense is going to do. For example, let's say that they, you know, let's say that they, they're going to press Godwin. If they press Godwin right out of the rip here, um, if there's off coverage, you'll notice right here, I can throw that little, um, dang it, I meant to throw it a little bit earlier. Uh, I can throw that route to Mike Evans right on the cut as well. But again, for the whole play, I would actually recommend probably go ahead and putting him on a curl. But I do want to show you this really quickly. Um, and this is what it looks like right here. But basically, if the cornerback on the right side is off coverage, meaning he's playing backed off coverage, this little play right here um, is going to do really, really good. Right here, snap, throw, hard outside pass lead, and you see you can hit that little button, little curl uh, very quickly. So all in all, guys, this play is really good. It's really good against cover two. It's really good against cover two man. It's really good pretty much against anything that you can run. Uh, mix in this version of it as well as the version I showed you earlier. If you have any questions about this play, go ahead and shoot me a text message but real quick before we go our next video is going to be on um on youtube at eight o'clock p.m eastern time so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're staying tuned to the discord so you don't miss that video um we've got a really really good uh video coming out today uh talking about the mcs and talking about some of the things we saw in last night's um in last night's matchup, a lot of you guys know that we we uh, run the air raid offense, which if you haven't picked up the air raid offense, you can pick that up in the description of this video. Uh, it has over 125 pages with over 10 hours of video material. Um, but air raid is primarily spread, right? It's either spread or trips. And so uh, last night there was an MCS game of a guy that was running spread. And so I want to break down kind of what I saw in that game. Now, obviously, he didn't end up getting the W, but I thought there were some things that we could definitely learn. You know, I find that when you watch Madden, uh, a lot there's a lot of things that you can learn learn just from watching the film of other players and so if you're interested in that video again i highly encourage you to jump in the discord that way you'll know whenever we uh post it other than that guys we'll be streaming live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time so i want to thank you guys so much for your support and we'll talk to you guys um on tonight's live stream right here on our youtube channel